Hey boys. A uh, little update on the collection here, mostly for uh, S. White, Comic Book Guy, and, and Lidstrom on EPAC, just to show them how the, the blank back marathon's coming. But uh, for anyone interested, um, I can just recap here. Working on a 1516 master set, and I mean every card, so we're down to nine. Seven uh, red border and, pardon me, eight red border and one uh, black foil in the main 600. But anyways, uh, S. White 82 egged me on and got me to go for the blank backs. If you're not familiar with them, they're kind of shrouded in mystery. Nobody really knows how many are out there. The suspicion, the number I hear bounced around a lot is maybe five of each card, but they're not numbered. Uh, and they're, as far as I know, they just do the retro. So not the regular base, whatever the retro cards for the Opeachy set that year look like. They'll throw in blank backs. When you get a case of Opeachy, uh, you might get two, but sometimes you just get one. Um, and like I say, they're not tracked. An upper deck doesn't, uh, doesn't offer any information on them. There's nothing on their website. I've seen them. Upper deck has a, um, a username on YouTube, and they've posted a video. I think it was for 17, 18 Opeachy I was watching, and they had a blank back in their hand, and they kind of coyly, they showed it, and the guy went to ask him a question about it, and the, and the other guy stuffed it under the table right away and said, no, 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 I've said too much already. Like, they kind of play it up a bit. This is the closest I've got to a, a full page here. Anyways, these are the base 600 in the original 1516 Opeachy, and we're up to about 170 of these. Uh, and, Lids and Lidstrom, sorry, on EPAC, i got to give you a shout-out because he, he said, hey, I noticed that there's a Ron Hainsey on Com C listed as uh, just a retro, and it was, in fact, a blank back. And he said, maybe go look, so I, whenever I get some time, I do go look and throw those. People uh, post the wrong year, the wrong product sometimes, and i got to keep an eye out for that. So, all right, so i got a couple there to put away. Uh, but anyways, maybe of more interest to you, S. White, <coughs> uh, are the updates, and I know the guys on EPAC will be more familiar with these cards, because the 50 updates, of course, come in Upper Deck Series 2 for 15, 16. So these are the retros again. These are regular retros that aren't blank backs. So we've got all those. Actually, we've got all the updates. I would have been done this if not for there's the silver foil. Not for S White 82. Get me in deeper. Uh, Rainbow foil black. So those guys are numbered out of 100. Got all those. Red border. Equally, like, pretty rare. And I, they're not numbered or anything. And they were just inserts. And nobody really knows how many of each of those are out there. I have seen a few McDavid's. Even a graded one. But, anyways, getting there. Okay. So. The blank backs. These are coming along pretty good. I think we needed eight, and I just put three away that I got from Com C. I wanted to show uh, S White 82 because there was a couple blues in there. So out of the veterans, they go up to 10 with TJ Oshi. I'm just missing Milan Lucic there. There is one on EPAC, but I think it's a dead account. I couldn't get any interest. We've got all those guys. Uh, so today, and McDavid. Thank you, S. White 82, for the hard ones. Today we got Colton Pareko in the mail. So there's our second one we're missing. And we got Ben Hutton and Joel Edmondson. Oh, I'm missing the guy in the corner there, so three. Got a full page there. Missing the top guy there. Four. I'd only be missing four. I thought I was missing five, but one, two, three, four. Looks like four to complete the set. Um, I must have forgot to scratch one off on my list there. I'll go through and double check here, but I just wanted to show you how it's coming. <coughs> Making a lot of headway, and well, maybe I forgot to take Hellebuck off there. Got him in the mail there before. 
I wanted to show you the cards are safe and sound. It's nice on these ones. They're only numbered to 50, and I can look back through the ones that are numbered to see the order that they go in to see where I need to put them. Because there's only 50, and I can flip to the page and put them in. In here, that's the worst thing is Ron Hainsey, no number. I put them in order 1 to 600. Well, I go find his number, but now I've got to count the pages. <laughs> it's, it's really actually quite a, a pain. Count the pages, count down the squares, and make sure you get it right so you don't end up having to pull a whole page of cards out. Doing pretty good on the rookies in here too, actually. Rookies start at uh, 600. Uh, pardon me, 500. 501, actually. 500 will be Crosby, which is probably hard to find, but uh, got a lot of rookies from the original, original 600, and then they get into veterans. Got a few of them, but I'll bet you if somebody came across the grid, I got the ore, thank goodness. It's fairly steep though, but uh, I think when we see the Gretzky, there's going to be, well, if we see a Gretzky, if someone decides they want to part with it, it won't be cheap, I'll bet. So anyways, almost a third of the way done there. Closing in on 200 out of the six. <coughs> and... In here again, it looks like we're down to down to four. The one vet, Lucic. I could put a bounty on that in EPAC, but I, I think it's a dead account. And one, two, three of the rookies. So almost there, boys. Anyways, I'll send you guys a list of the ones I'm looking for. Take care.